All right, what's up, guys? I'm here with my boy, Brendan. Say hi. 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 Um, and Grayson, say hi. Hi. All right, so I did a long version of how to create your own BitPixel marquee, uh, and there is my kitty cat. Uh, so the BitPixel is a really, really cool accessory for your At Games Legends Ultimate. Um, I've been having fun creating a whole bunch of them, but I wanted to let the boys... I made a long video showing like the whole process. Uh, but we're going to try something easier here to make a, a short version just to kind of show you how you can quickly get it done without watching my whole other version. Although that's really cool, so you should watch that too. Um, so anyway, guys, pick a game off that machine that you think we should make a marquee for. All right. So go through quick and try and pick it in like five seconds or less. Let's let's look at the selection you got there. Uh, you think we should do Aladdin? I mean, I kind of like Aladdin. Aladdin's cool. That's my favorite show. Wait, Asteroids? Asteroids? Yeah. No, they already got like a really cool one for Asteroids. You know what? I, I mean, Aladdin was your first choice. What if we tried that? Yeah, we could try Aladdin. Alright, what's on Aladdin right now? Ah, oh, dude, we got some super cool fireworks there. But alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a... Uh, a marquee for Aladdin. Hey, Brandon, you just wanted to get in the camera there, didn't you? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we're going to make a funny one. I don't know, but this is really cool. All right. So what we're going to do is I already brought up searches here. Um, so when you're making your marquee, you can either use a GIF or GIF, however you want to say it, um, animated um, marquee, or you can also use a PNG file. Uh, which is just going to be, you know, a single image, uh, not animated. And with both of those, what you need to do is you need to end up with a file that is 128 pixels wide and 32 pixels tall. Um, now, I think you can, like, I don't think if you don't get exactly that, I think the BitPixel is smart enough to try and, like, redo it for you. Uh, but you want to try and get the 128 by 32 if you can. Did I already lose you? I lost one to Fortnite. And then I just lost the other one now. But anyway, so let's find an image here. Uh, see all images. All right, find something. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I like that one. What do you think of that one? It's all shiny. Yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and take this. And we're just going to go ahead and save this. Um, so I use Bing Search, by the way. It makes, I just, I, well, I guess it really doesn't matter. You can find GIFs anywhere. Uh, right click, save image as. We're going to save it as Aladdin. All right. And then what we're going to do is we are going to load up a program called GIMP. It's a poor man's, uh, well, there's my uh, thing for the other video, but it's your poor man's um, Photoshop. Uh, it's made by a community great uh, software. So uh, you can kind of. I'll throw a link in the description on where you can get it. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to file open. And we're just going to go ahead and open up that uh, GIF, the Aladdin GIF. GIF. Okay, so here's what we got. The uh, GIF opens up as frames. My other video has a whole lot more information on this piece. All I'm going to do is kind of show quickly how to uh, uh, reframe it and get down to that 128 by 32. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the image here and I'm going to go to scale image. So image tab, scale image, and I'm going to change my width to 128. And then you'll notice because I have it locked here, when I hit tab, it's actually going to lock that aspect ratio. So 128 to 85, it's not going to do any sort of mushing either way. Um, all right, so we um, it's now scaled down to 128 by 85, but we need it to be 128 by 32. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to go here to image, and now we're going to work with our canvas size. And what that does is say it's kind of a cropping. You know, it allows you to crop this area here. And I'm going to go ahead and say the height of 32. We'll see how that turns out. See if I can get all of Aladdin in there. Um, I actually can, so that's pretty cool. I think we're actually good. I can get all of that there. I'll go ahead and resize, and so you'll see it there. And each one of these is a frame that's going to be part of the GIF. Um, again, I explained it in the other video, but this is the time of each frame, and then this is whether 
you know, it gets added onto the last frame or it replaces the last frame. So anyway, we're going to now go and we're going to export this. So I'm going to say export as, and we'll export it as aladdin.gif. Export, replace. We will go ahead and crop. On this one, just make sure you have as animation checked. And export. All right, and then we'll go ahead and see what the GIF looks like here. We'll go to downloads. Uh, where are you at, Aladdin? All right, so there's our GIF there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is I am going to grab a thumb drive. Um, it could be any. Oh, hey, Jurassic World Evolution 2. Um, that's a cool game. Very time consuming. Uh, but anyway, I got the flash drive here. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, load it. And then we're going to go and we're going to open up the flash drive. Uh, continue. I'm just kidding. Okay, so getting your flash drive ready for all of this. Uh, come on, seriously. Getting your flash drive ready for all this is really easy. You just put a folder in the root of the flash drive called PCX. And then within that PCX folder, you're going to have folders for different items. So you can have one for ALU. Um, you could even create one for ArcadeNet, um, one for settings. And it's going to be, when you're looking at the top you know, of the Legends Ultimate, uh, it's not actually going to be those. So I'll try and get a listing of those and put it in the description. Um, but that's what you do there. And so, and then for the built-in games, those are all what's under the games tab. Those, you put those under ALU. Um, and this is where you would load your GIF files or your PNG files. Uh, this decoded is created by Pixelcade, so you, or the BitPixel, so you don't have to, or Pixelcade software. Pixelgate X. So you don't have to do anything with that. Um, so Aladdin, we're going to go ahead and take uh, the file that we uh, exported here. Right click, copy that. Go over here to the ALU. We'll plug it in here. And evidently I already had an Aladdin, so it was replacing it. Um, so when you are creating the file names, you want to create them exactly like they appear on the screen. So, you know, here, like 3D Tic-Tac-Toe, it has the 2600 after it. Because that's, when I'm looking at the Games tab, that's what it reads on, on that tab. Uh, there are some games that have, like, special characters that you may not be able to do this with. I'm try Or that I don't know how to do this with. Uh, I'm going to try and get something from Mac Games to figure out, you know what you could do for those files. Um, but for now, it, it works with most of them. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and we'll stop this. All right, so let's pull the flash drive out and we're gonna go ahead and put it in a USB hub um, connected to the ALU. Put it right in here. And we're gonna wait as soon as it goes in there, you'll see a little flashing USB thing at the top. Unless it reads it really, really fast, then I don't think you'll see it. Yeah, it looks like I just read it fast enough. Head over here to the Legends Ultimate. It's booting up here. And Brendan's gonna give me a hand. All right. Oh, I got a little... I feel like I should turn off the lights. Ooh. Hey, that's better actually. That's, that's not bad. All right, so let's go. I'm gonna try and move my laptop here oh my God, so that I can get better. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to the tab that says App Store X. Can you find that one? It's the one that starts with an A. Mm -hmm. Now the the tab at the top. So go over here. Yep. Yeah, that says App Store X. Can you show me out of that one? I know. You guys are not that screen. Yeah. Oh, 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 one. There you go. All right. And then we're going to go down to the one with the green check mark. It says Pixelcade X. Uh, okay. So there you go. Go ahead and press A. Yep. Oh, not on that one. Press A on the other one. There you go. All right. And press A again. 
And I go over one to the L. Now that's the L. The one that starts with an L. There you go. Press A. Alright, and then press B. Okay, so that's how you launch the actual Pixel Cave software. And then now we're going to go ahead and see our marquee. So, Brendan, you go up to the top. Uh, you want to, okay, that's going to stick worth, I guess. Then go over to games. Yep, there you go. Now go down to Aladdin. So, yeah, go over to Aladdin. Oh! Check it out, buddy. Look at it. Uh, don't be a jerk. Can I see? You have to stand back. Stand back and look at it. That's really good. Uh, it's so rough to try and even get it on the camera. But there you go. That's how you make one of these. Do you guys want to say bye? Bye. Bye. Say bye. 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 Have a nice